So what, what seed is this? A meadow, well, the first one. فَأَوَى إِلَى اللَّهِ فَأَوَاهُ اللَّهِ He saw, he, he, he did see refuge, protection of Allah has always done, and Allah has always done, brought him in, he gave him refuge. He brought him in. وَأَمَّا ثَانِي فَاسْتَحْيَا He had a pass. فَاسْتَحْيَا اللَّهُ مِنْ Allah Azza wa Jal would be embarrassed from his the, the, the old one of you who raised his hands to Allah Azza wa Jal from and he will answer him. Why was it all? He's been raising his hands for 40 years, for 50 years. وَأَمَّا ثَالِثِ The third one, the busy busy, فَأَعْلَى فَأَعْلَى اللَّهُ He turned his back to Allah Azza wa Jal and Allah Azza wa Jal Turn with his back uh, on him. The 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 pilgrims, the, the pilgrims are Muslimah, as Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam says that they are the guests of Allah Azza wa Jal, and the the, the most special of Allah Azza wa Jal are the houses of Allah. As Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam says, it is a beauty of the host. Allah Azza wa Jal is the host to basically be generous to the people who. who who visit him. And Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Man arada bahbuhat al-jannat fariyazza bi jama'ah fa'inna al-shaytana ma'al wahid wa ma'ina al-ithnin abhan. If you want to go into the wider space of jannah, stay with the group. The ulama says, if you see people sick, you know, you know, a few people pulling aside, he said, they're probably establishing a fitna. They're probably you know, doing something with, with their being. Their being is not pure and is not on the right path. So remember that next time, whatever you do, whatever you do, have be sincere to Allah Azza wa Jal. What's uh, amazing is that we really forget, and this is really what, you know, I'm talking to you at the moment about to myself here. I am reminding myself. Well, and he says, which month is this? And everybody has to, and we know this most. And who's leading? He is, if there is a sacred man, he is a sacred man himself. He's the leader of the prophets. He's the best of all our creations. And his answer was, all of you remember it. We don't understand it. There is stuff that's much more sacred than Hajj, much more sacred than Kaaba, much more sacred than Mecca, much more sacred than Eid al Adha, much more sacred than Ismail Khurram, much more sacred. It is your blood, it is your blood, it's the, the right to live, the right to life. You cannot take that away. Nobody can touch the view, you know, secretly with his soul and the factory and pieces. That's much, much more sacred. And what else is sacred? Your money. That Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, if you take a little in the swap, you know, the stuff that you bring your teeth with, if you take it with your blood, you ride without your brother's acceptance and full agreement. You are the hell, and your, your, your brother, wealth is sacred to you. That is the masses. Nothing else matters. We are not Jews, we are not Christians. Just having a nice long robe doesn't make me holy. Just nice and having a, a, a pope, whatever they put on their head, doesn't make me holy. Or a cap, or whatever. It is what I do. Wa aradakum. Wa aradakum. Your honor. You should be brought in as a brother, protected brother. It is haram. And if you avoid haram, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Ahbal al-nas. Ita min haram takum. Ahbal al-nas. You don't have to stand there for days and nights, it says. Uh, you know, like the, the Orthodox is for five hours living in the glorification and so on. 
You don't have to do that. Just avoid looking down at your brother. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, and this is the essence of this of this this passage. That black or white or or you know whether it's Arab or not Arab, imagine the Asians he has the accent isn't it does not matter. It does not matter. If you still have that in you, you are full of jahiliya. You need to drop off. You need to cleanse yourself. Read more Quran. Nobody will tell them. Nobody will assault them and take their wealth. Nobody will spy them. That's all Islam. Do you understand Islam correctly? No, we don't. One of the amazing things that just happened to kind of uh, uh, like fall into it. I found out that uh, my uh, subcontinent brothers are that more than me. The Indians have their own version of what it has. All I'm going to say is just go to national or go to geographic and just kind of um, call it, you know, Ganges River, wash up or whatever. And look at the pictures, and look at the pictures of our house. And uh, we, you, don't have, you don't have to have more content or explanation. It's, I'm not going to leave that at all. I'm just going to leave that at all. But all, but, but all I'm going to say is that right now, your Muslim brothers in India, they're not, <laughs> it's a joke that they are minority. They don't assimilate people. That their hijabs are being pulled off. Their houses are being destroyed, they became like the same like the Palestinians and the Kashmiris. And their rights are being taken away one after the other. You have, by living here, I'm telling this to my Indian brother especially, okay? you have a megaphone. You have an influence on how what's happened to them over there. The same people who are full of hatred and who are very, very narrow-minded, and who go to the extreme in, in hurting Islam and denying it. Denying the greatest, you know, the greatest favor we lived there for a thousand years. And when I leave that alone, suddenly you know, the stuff I'm saying. The same people we come them here, they have to respect the human, the human dignity. They cannot say that they cannot argue with you. I, I did not still find a single Indian who can openly admit that he uh, accepts the caste system. You know what the caste system is. You know, you have the Brahma and the Dalit. You know, that some people are, you know, born by nature, they're born superior. You know, like our, some of our white brothers have belief that uh, some are just. It's, it's not a garbage, but, but garbage has it is. I think we believe in it. Why am I saying they believe in it? It's better than the entire world in it. So do I not support your brothers, whether they come to the United States, Palestine, or Myanmar, or China, or, uh, you know, whatever they are. These are our values. This is what we should do. I just heard. I hope it's not true that some Igori Muslims were turned, taken out, they went for help, and they were taken out and sent back to China. They came out from different countries. I hope that what they have not done that, you know why I'm not sure that they have not done that? Because all of the things is one single Muslim saw who Allah Azza wa Jal will accept his, his, his complaint. To take all the barakah out of the oppressor's life. And glorious as the great building of Muslim Haram is, it is not worth a single Muslim life. Allah <laughs> <laughs>
अगर वीडियो आप लोगों को पसंद आए तो लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब मस्ट है और अगली वीडियो में आपसे मुलाकात होगी तब तक के लिए अल्लाह हाफिज़